Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott, and it is time for our June recap. I am a little pressed for time, so uh, I'm not going to do any VRs today. Uh, there are one or two that I could do, but maybe I'll squeeze those in at a later date. Uh, we do have our shareholders meeting. Um, I got a contest win, a couple of really nice care packages, and some pickups to show off. So let's do it. I don't feel like I had much of a focus in June, and I am thinking of veering away from the monthly focus and maybe making it a quarterly focus. Uh, maybe that's too inside baseball, but I was super, super busy. As always, um, I did start doing the sports card shows, and that was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to doing more of those. Um, I've been busy with the commissions as usual, and every time I show a video with one of those, I seem to get two or three more requests, which is awesome, but at the same time, I never really feel like I'm catching up. Um, I'm totally not complaining. I really do love doing those for you guys. And um, I did make a Google form for commission requests because um, I'm all fancy now. Um, but some, I know some of you have seen that and filled that out. That really helps me keep the projects going, uh, knowing what I've got coming up. Hobby Palooza, it was amazing. And to be honest, I wasn't really sure how well it would do since BenchClear wasn't running it anymore. But uh, John 3D80's kit and four collectors did a fantastic job. Um, I did my usual live painting, which is always very nerve wracking, but always very rewarding and fun. Unfortunately, Four Leaf couldn't join me this year due to other commitments and technical issues. But I did have Don and John from Two Guys One Hobby keep the discussion going while I concentrated on my Mickey Mantle painting. So uh, big, big thanks to everyone who played a part in that. It was awesome. What else? Um, I started the Marker Doodle Monday series, which means I'm doing a Marker Doodle video every Monday and releasing a limited amount of custom cards featuring that art every week on my Etsy store. It's only been three weeks, but it seems to be going very well so far. The idea here is that I will be able to fill those Marker Doodle requests in a timely manner while still working on all those bigger projects during the rest of the week. I'm also toying with the idea of T-Shirt Tuesday to keep the T-Shirt factory rolling, but I wouldn't necessarily make a video every week about T-Shirts. Nah. Speaking of t-shirts, if you're going to the National and there's something you want to buy from me in person, please, please, please reach out as soon as you can and let me know and I will get that ordered for you. I'll have some shirts with me, but I'd hate to let anybody down who wanted, I don't know, like a 3X Blowny Gum t-shirt. Some shirts like that aren't huge sellers, so um, I won't have everything on hand. And speaking of the National, uh, after the last National, I made a video about how to enjoy Cleveland. So if you're going to the National this year and you haven't checked that out, uh, or maybe you want a refresher, the link for that is down below. Remember when my best friend Theo, the Clemente collector, wanted us to card shame my other best friend John from 3D80's Kid? Well, I stooped lower than I'd normally stoop, and I'm glad I did because I won this uh, 1971 Clemente from Clemente Collector himself. There's no note because I think Theo's still working on learning his alphabet, but I'm very, very happy to have this in the collection. Thank you, Theo. All right, this one is all the way from Canada. It's from my bestie, Kurt, and it's wrapped in some very cool Jackie paper. Very nice. It says, to my best friend, Scott, just wanted to say a quick hello. Really enjoy your channel, content, art, humor, and fun. I've included some cards for your collection. As a Twins fan, I'm happy to find these a new home. Nice. Uh, keep up the great work and continued success. Kindest regards, your best friend, Kurt. Aw, thanks, Kurt. Kurt uses green tape because he knows what's up. Let's see. We got a very cool KB Joe Carter. Corey, Opeachy Burt, that is sick. Uh, Ron Washington is pretty scary, and Jeff Manto. Very cool, Kurt. Thanks, dude. This next one is from my BFF, Kyle, at Ground Chuck. He sent me cash for the Andre Dawson piece that I did for him recently because he's a weirdo, but I don't mind because he sent me some goodies, too. Uh, more green tape. Here's an Archives Joe Adcock, Archives Jack Morris, and an Archives Joe Carter. There's Jarrett Wright. Look at that tongue. That's awesome. Uh, Sean Casey rookie, early win. This is cool. It's a 1960 Leaf Mudcat Grant, but that's not Mudcat Grant, but that is Mudcat Grant. I love those. Uh, here's a Conlon Bob Feller, Stouffer's Bob Feller. I was going to pull the tab on that, but I thought better of it. Um, hostess Buddy Bell and a super cool Oscar Gamble. There's Buddy again, Rick Manning, Fritz, and Ricky. And uh, there's Kyle himself. Uh, here's a Good Humor Ice Cream Corey Snyder bat. There's the note. 
It says, to my BFF, Scott, the greatest artist I know. You must not know many artists, Kyle. Uh, Thanks for creating an Andre Dawson piece for me. I hope you enjoy the Indians I enclosed. I sure did. Your bestie and cardboard brother, Ground Chuck, a.k.a. Kyle. So I had very few of these cards already, Kyle, and that's hard to do, but you knocked it out of the park, sir. He also sent along this Isley's Frank Robinson, which I did have, actually, because Kyle sent me one of these before, but I still love it. Thank you, dude. And this one is from my best friend, S-Dubs. It says, just a small rack. Thanks for all the cool videos. Your bestie, S-W. We got uh, Jimmy, Corey there on the leader's card, Albert, Blackjack, Oral, Jimmy again, Bob, a uh, hologram, and uh, Tribe Hill Trio. Back here, we got Omar. There's Albert. And behind Bob, we got Jimmy. And there's another Jimmy with Cece. Uh, Roberto, and another Jimmy. You know what I like, sir. Thank you, SW. These are great. And this one is from my bestie, Scott, from Stooks Baseball Cards and Curiosities. Uh, He texted me to let me know that something was on the way. So let's see. We got a very cool vintage Lou Boudreaux postcard. You can almost see his ankles hurting in this photo. He had famously bad ankles. And I'm realizing that if you have to explain the joke, it doesn't really work, does it? But uh, that's awesome. And this 1949 Who's Who in Baseball book featuring 1948 MVP Lou Boudreaux as well. Uh, That's very rad. Thank you, Scott. That's awesome. I was a little bad, but not too bad. And I bought two cards from a buddy on Facebook this month for my Guardians autograph project. I already had a David Fry autograph on a minor league card, but I like this one better. And I did not have a Tim Heron yet, and this custom fit the bill. Not a whole lot of love for those dorky relief pitchers. Um, They have been calling up a lot of guys lately, so I have a lot of catching up to do, but I really enjoy this project. Um, I also picked up this cool Larry Doby hat at the flea market. It was a very nice stadium giveaway, and I was always a little sad that I missed it, so I'm very happy to have that. That is it for now. Thanks to Fork Collectors and Don and John for an awesome hobby palooza. Thanks to Theo for the fun prize. Thanks to Kurt, Kyle, SW, and Scott for the fun care packages. As always, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch. Have a great fourth, and we will see you real soon, perhaps in Cleveland.